Moving on now, the Senate County Public Accounts and Investments Committee has directed Kilifi Governor Emerson Kingi to provide necessary documentation to support the use of 3.2 billion shillings spent by the county. Kingi was this morning put to task to explain why the 3.2 billion shillings did not reflect in the IFME system. The governor instead deflected blame to the National Treasury, saying the challenge was not isolated to Kilifi as other counties were also facing similar issues with the system. Chair, this is not um, something for Kilifi only. The, I sit in the legal committee of the Council of Governors. So I'm at, I sit at the executive committee managing affairs of the COG. And always, this cry always comes from county governments. If I show you the kind of correspondence between us and the and Treasury on this particular matter. Yes. The numerous correspondences. Yes. You know, complaining, reminding them. Sometimes you'll write letter. In fact, I don't remember any single letter that has ever been re responded to on this particular matter. It is very frustrating. Uh, that, that, that process, if then you did a reconciliation after, because you said it is within that time, if that has been done, the records are available, they can be availed to the Auditor General within seven days. Okay? If they are availed within seven days, then we will be uh, ready to deal with the matter as one that is satisfactory after we examine the documents. So can we agree that way, Governor? That's fair? Chair, on my part. Yes. I do agree. Yes. But there is a third party that is not in the room. That is the Treasury. Oh, exactly. No, no, okay. So uh, those seven days, I will do my part. Yes. But if I face similar frustrations, I'll come back to this committee, still on this supposition.